Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. We are here with another interesting concept clearing video. You must have seen electric fans around a lot. Fans are used generally in hot weather to cool down. You must have also seen fans in various electric devices such as your laptop, induction heater, and data center to keep their temperature low. Have you ever wondered, how does the electricity move a fan? Before jumping directly to the explanation, let us first understand what electricity is. When one or more charges move, we call it electricity. To move something, there should be an application of force. In the case of electricity, the potential difference between the ends of a wire applies the force on electrons. When we connect an appliance to a battery or an electric socket, we apply a potential difference. When something moves, it causes changes in its surroundings. For example, when a cricket ball moves in the air, it causes surrounding air particles to move with it. But in the case of charges, when they move, they generate electric and magnetic fields in their surroundings. Now let us understand what the word, field, means. When you release a stone from the top of a building, it automatically comes down. This happens because, almost everywhere, gravitational force fields are present. Whenever anything with mass comes into this field, it experiences a force. Similarly, in the case of the electric field, any charged particle experiences a force and in a magnetic field, any magnetic object experiences a force. One more thing you need to understand is that when an electric conductor is kept in a magnetic field, it experiences a force in the perpendicular direction of the magnetic field. Inside a fan, there are a large number of wires coiled together. When electricity flows through them, electrons inside these wire moves and generates an electric and magnetic field in the surrounding. This coiled part remains fixed and this is called the stator but the part which is connected to fan blades remains free to move. This part is called the rotor. The rotor is made from a conducting material and as it comes into the magnetic field, it experiences a force in a circular direction. This result in the movement of blades which causes air to move from the blades in the forward direction and we experience the breeze. 